Hello everyone, my name is Samir Gautam and I am a chatbot marketer and recently one of my subscriber asked me to make a video on user input on mini chat. So see, I have come to the flow directly, I have come to the flow. I hope you know how to use the flow, how to start a flow. Obviously you must be knowing if you are new to mini chat, you can see some basic video like how to create a flow you will get. And in this video, I will explain how you can make the best use of user input feature, which is in mini chat, this one. So to use this feature, you obviously need a pro account. If you have a free account, you can upgrade it to use this feature. So today I will uh, touch every aspect of user input and how you can best use it for your purpose. So simply we will select user input. Now we have user input. We have put the content type as other. Now why we use user input obviously to take the input of the user. Like we want to ask something like we can ask in which class you study and they can type or we can give them some options like uh, uh, for uh, the question what is your favorite ice cream flavor like if i put uh, what is your favorite ice cream flavor okay so i have put now I, they can reply with text like they can type like chocolate and they can reply with text and obviously we will uh, save it like if we need it in future we will save it so i am saving it to flavor a custom field flavor if if uh, or you can create a new like flavor ice cream or anything but for now i am saving it to flavor so why i am saving so that i can use it for uh, for future reference okay so that is done like uh, when we go to contacts and see a particular contact we will see like what he has say given in the flavor like what he has typed it will be saved to flavor okay before moving further i will also show you like there are lots of options if you want to give uh, them some choice like if i give them a choice called uh, chocolate chocolate and another one if i give them vanilla so i've given them just two options for now so i've given them two options now you can see so also allow free input text which i have not checked here why because i want them to choose between these two so they have to click so if they do not click they just type anything else like xyz instead of typing these instead of clicking on these, they type something then we have to give a retry message so what will be the retry message so instead of clicking on either of the two if they type something so then we can give a retry message the retry message here is please select one of the options below and this option will reappear again but we can change this text as well like we can give it more personalized like uh, hello you have to hello no we will not use hello but yes we can use like this like um, please choose between chocolate and vanilla and these two options will come below and they can click or anything whatever we uh, how we want to experiment with the text which looks good which have good user experience and here is a skip button which has written skip so that they can skip this question now retry how many times like if they type and again in this show again they type again this message so then how many times so if you give it zero time then it will not appear but if their input is invalid one time is good like if they got this message and they typed something uh, suppose they don't want to answer the and they have some other question they type something but it will show them a message please select one of the option below and again if they type something then it will uh, means go in the flow like uh, move for forward in the flow because the retry is only one time if it is two time it will again show a, a, a retry message if it is zero time it will not show a retry message even they type it will move further in the flow or it, the flow will stop however we have designed based on that so we got this thing okay now one thing you will see like okay so we are saving this to flavor that we will put so if they choose chocolate or vanilla it is going to save in this flavor now what happens if they type something uh, for example any other like mango they type mango so 
if you want to take their input if they type also we can simply check it also allow free input text then you will see the retry text message is vanished why because they can type also and since they can type they can type anything so it cannot give them a retry message like you please choose between this because we have checked also allow free input text so we have got this much okay now it is done simply if you want to ask their email first name last name we don't need to ask any time because generally we directly get them from facebook and email like if we put email what will happen so i have to remove this because it is set to email we will simply ask their email so we are asking here for their email and what will happen if we put email like what is your email or any good message which ask their email so when they will get this me message in messenger simply below this message a bubble will appear here with their email which is saved on their facebook so they can simply tap it so instead of typing they can simply tap it and if it is a different email they want to give they can type it is as well but uh, it will be easy for them to just tap it so that is the benefit of using email and secondly we just give get the option to save that into email system field so email system field has many many benefits so we can save it to that email and if you don't want then we can send it to custom field as well like email so we can send uh, we can save it to email so i have some created here and i can create new as well so for now i'm leaving it now again coming back to text like keep it text and let's keep it flavor only ignore what i have written here suppose we are saving it to flavor again i have given the wrong spelling ignore all these yes so now like ask uh, like suppose i'm asking here flavor flavor of ice cream now action what is action so when they give the response like we ask them the flavor and they gave them the response they gave the response what action we can perform so we can perform various option so like we are already saving it to custom field so we do not need to perform that in action but we can like tag them we can add a tag like they have answered their email uh, they have answered the flavor so it is confusing i will just give it flavor stop the notification please so okay now add tag so what tag so i can give the tag like answered like they answered the flavor they answered the flavor so this is the tag okay they answered the flavor anything like that like now i'm just uh explaining so i'm just randomly giving so any tag we can add or any action it is based on your use case like what action like you want to subscribe them to sequence or anything now if contact has not responded a very good feature like if contact has not responded for example you ask them the flavor and they have not responded so how much hour we should wait and then give them a message so i will just wait for one hour i will just wait for one hour okay so if client has not responded so in if uh, we ask them the flavor and they have not responded in one hour we can take the flow forward how we can take the flow forward like we can give them a reminder message like hey why you stopped again I am just giving text for now but yes we are doing marketing so we have to be very good with our conversation our text so okay so not put like randomly i'm putting so yes why you stopped you should continue so i am uh giving them the order but it should not be like that you should continue and give a button and give a button yes continue okay so now what will happen after one hour uh, they didn't uh, replied anything to this then they will get a message hey why you stopped you should continue and they will click on button yes continue and then again it will ask the 
flavor and then it will move uh, forward like it will move forward in the flow when they will answer this so i have touched every aspect of it like reply type and like you have date and time as well like if you want to give them the calendar or a date uh, so they can choose any date or choose any date and time or choose their location so anything you have lots of option these if we choose url so if if you have put this url reply type url and if they type something which is not a url it will show them the retry message so for this it is for validation so reply type is done and whatever the reply we can save it to custom field for for the reference for example in the flow we can put conditions like if your flavor is chocolate go to this flow if your flavor is vanilla go to this flow so we can use for that or we can use for marketing purpose like whoever chose chocolate we will we can show them chocolate ads and whoever show them whoever chose vanilla we can show them vanilla ads for ice cream now again notification i'm getting lots of notification just stop it and now so this is done and then if contact has not responded we can set how many hours so if they have not answered in one hour so them this message contact has not responded so we have so them this obviously we have to write a good reminder gentle reminder so that they continue okay or we can take them to another follow as well so whatever we would like we can experiment and then comes retry how many times so in this case even they type anything it will go in the flow because it is not an error because we have simply put the reply type text okay so we understood how we can best use the user input hope you liked it if you liked it do like this video and subscribe to the channel thank you have a good day i'm stopping the recording